life is a journey. I think it's good from time to time to pause and think about how's the journey going? Are we on the right path? Have we made a wrong turn? Are we happy with how the journey is progressing? Or do we feel like we're moving in the wrong direction? And let's face it, there's so many paths to choose in this journey we call life. And everyone in your life wants you to walk a different path. Everyone in your life is trying to encourage you to walk this path or that path. Ultimately, you have to decide which are the right paths for you. You get to choose. What paths are you choosing every day? What paths will you choose today? What are going to be the most important paths you choose to walk in your life? I went down to the car dealership the other day to buy a new car and the salesman's walking me through all the features of the car. And when you buy a car, there's some things that come standard, but then there's this whole list of options, different things that you can have put on your car. And one of the options, of course, is navigation. And the salesman says to me, do you want navigation or not? Human beings come with navigation as standard equipment, unlike cars. You've got navigation. You have the ability to reason, you can think things through and you have conscience. That quiet voice within you that's always guiding you towards what is good and right and away from what is bad and wrong. That quiet voice within you that's always guiding you toward the best version of yourself and away from that second rate version of yourself. And so reason and conscience, uh, the navigation that God gives us along with the Holy Spirit to guide us in this journey that is life. After 200 yards, turn right. But there's no point in having navigation if you don't use it, right? After 400 yards, turn right. You have navigation in your car, but if you don't turn it on, then you can end up as lost as the person who doesn't have navigation. And that's what happens sometimes in our lives. You know, God gives us the Holy Spirit to guide us, to navigate us. He gives us reason to guide us and navigate us. He gives us conscience to guide us and navigate. He's given us navigation. But lots of the time we, we ignore the navigation, right? And that's when we end up lost. Even though we've got this incredible navigation system, the combination of the Holy Spirit, reason, and conscience, we all go off the path from time to time, don't we? We all ignore the navigation system from time to time. We all make bad choices, bad decisions, and from time to time, we do the wrong thing. It's like sometimes I'm driving in the car and I think I know better than the navigation system. And the navigation system will say, turn right in 100 feet but I turn left, I think, ah, the navigation system's wrong this time. I ignore the navigation system, I go left, what happens? I end up lost. It turns out the navigation system was right. 
And then what happens? What does the navigation system do? The navigation system says, recalculating. It took some time, but I think I figured it out. How I'm feeling, how to answer my doubts and hesitation. I've heard the story before, my inspiration and the open door. One of the beautiful things about our God is our God is a God of second chances. And the truth is we all need a second chance from time to time. We all make mistakes. We all make bad choices, bad decisions. We all wander off the right path from time to time. And what does our God say? Our God says recalculating. And isn't that a thing of beauty? So wherever you are in your journey, maybe you have made some bad choices. Maybe you are on a wrong path. All you need to do is turn back to God and say, God, I need you to recalculate my journey for me. The truth is, He's already recalculated it. He's constantly recalculating your journey so that He can help you become the person He created you to be. God's dream, He wants you to become the best version of yourself, and He is recalculating on a daily basis to help you become that best version of yourself and get to where He created you to be. All we gotta do, turn the navigation system back on. There are a thousand paths you can walk in this life, but God has picked out a path just for you. I was driving along the road the other day and there was this sign at the end of the road. It said, private road. That road belongs to somebody. It's, it's just for that person. And God, he's designed a private road just for you. St. Augustine lived more than 1500 years ago and he wrote, our hearts are restless until they rest in you, O Lord. For 1500 years, Christians of all ages and from all walks of life, in every country around the world have been drawing inspiration from these words. The truth is, you're never really going to be happy until you find the path that God has created just for you.